Meanwhile, ruling Democratic Party presidential candidate Lee Jae-myung is focused on presenting a vision different from the Moon Jae-in administration. He said North Korea policies will also be different and he won't shy away from speaking up to the regime. He also expressed plans of forming a cooperative government after the election and hinted at possible coalitions during the campaign. DP presidential nominee Lee Jae-myung stressed pragmatism and vowed to take corresponding measures if North Korea acts out excessively, like the time when it blew up the inter-Korean liaison office. Unlike the current administration, which promised to put an end to non-regular temporary jobs, he questioned whether unilaterally converting non-regular workers to regular full-time positions was true justice. Regarding hikes in real estate holding and transaction taxes, he said that was a policy failure. Moon Jae-in 정부와 이재명 정부는 그러면 다른 거냐 같은 거냐 이렇게 묻는, 묻는다면 다르기도 하고 같기도 하다. He emphasized housing supply was also insufficient and vowed to flexibly review the option of lifting green belt designation from some areas. He also said that if he wins the election, he will form a cooperative government and pragmatic cabinet that does not distinguish between different blocks and camps. 가능하면 선거 과정에서 그런 연합을 해낼 수 있다면 훨씬 더 낫지 않을까 그런 기대는 하고 있죠. His remark is viewed as targeting other presidential hopefuls such as An Chol-su and Kim Dong-yeon. On the party level, many figures based in Cheollado province, including former lawmaker Chun Jung-bae and Yoo Sung-yeob, who had left the DP when President Moon Jae-in was party leader, have now returned. Meanwhile, the splinter Open Democratic Party held a vote of its members and approved a merger with the DP. The DP will also wrap up related procedures next month and conclude a grand consolidation of the wider ruling camp. On Friday, he visited a private hospital which has been named a COVID-19 treatment facility after converting all of its 200 beds exclusively for COVID-19 patients. There, he spoke with healthcare workers and listened to their views.